Yeah. And I'm Tara Thomas. After the stabbing of a Waterloo teenager at Exchange Park about a month ago, there was a concern of retaliation. At East High School, where the victim was a student especially, well, in response, Waterloo police placed additional officers at the school. And today, Waterloo schools participated in what they call a safety assessment, finding out how well and prepared they are to handle any kind of school emergency. News Channel 7's John Wilmer joins us live outside East High. John, school officials already have emergency plans in place, but they also say there's always room for improvement. Tell us about it. That's right, Tara. Waterloo Schools actually brought in an expert to go through each one of its buildings and talk to faculty and staff. The end result, hopefully better prepared schools. Down there on the right-hand side, up above. Ken Trump, the president and CEO of National School Safety and Security Services, has 25 years of experience in this field. Those are just locked. Now he's come to Waterloo to assess how well this district is ready to prevent and manage a crisis. Parents will forgive school officials if their test scores go down a bit, but they're, no, they're much less forgiving if something happens to their kids when they come to school. It's a good idea to have an independent assessment, somebody from the outside who can take a look at the big picture. You have to take this file. Trump says special locks on doors and video cameras are important tools, but are not the best way to keep schools safe. The first and best line of defense is always a well-trained, highly alert staff and student body. And it's from a kid that we learn about weapons in the building or from a staff member who knows how to respond to an emergency that has relationships with kids and school officials that are working well with police, fire and emergency medical services. Trump says along with these safety measures comes improvements in academics. So if you don't have a safe school, you're not going to have the academic achievement you want. And Waterloo School Board and Superintendent has been very proactive in making sure that they have the safety plans in place. We expect to hear that there are some really good things in place already, uh, but we're always looking for ways that we can improve. Assessment continues through the end of the week. The Waterloo School District already takes part in a number of drills, including tornado and fire drills. They also have lockdowns every year, and they also evacuate the schools every other year. The purpose of that, to keep students safe and prepared for the worst. Live in Waterloo, John Wilmer, Iowa's News Channel 7. Okay, thank you, John. And after receiving the assessment, it will be up to the Waterloo School Board to approve any changes. We contacted Cedar Rapids schools today, and officials say they are implementing security programs at each school in the district. These programs will involve schools being locked during the day, and visitors cannot enter the building without contacting the office using an intercom system from outside the building. All visitors also need to get a pass from the office. Cedar Rapids officials say all schools will have these protections in place in one to two years. Officials also add protection plans are reviewed each year based on need and budget. In conjunction with